Hey everyone, if you've ever found yourself in a trade unsure of what targets to aim for, or if you missed out on profits because you closed your trade too early, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to explain ICT standard deviation and share a powerful strategy that revolves around this concept. Let's dive into and see how it can enhance your trading profit. So, what exactly is standard deviation? Standard deviation measures the dispersion or variability of price changes from the mean, providing insights into market behavior. In trading, standard deviation projections can be used to identify potential targets for trades. One way to do this is by recognizing price action that indicates a potential manipulation leg. This includes a short-term high and a price break through that high before coming back down and shifting structure bearish. From there, we can draw a fib from the high to the low and use it to project out our targets. To apply these projections, we use the Fibonacci tool, anchoring it to the high and low of an impulsive price move. The key projection levels to focus on are 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2.5, and negative 4. When the price reaches these maximum expansion levels, we typically observe a reaction, either a reversal toward equilibrium or a continuation with fading momentum. It's important to have targets to aim for when entering and exiting positions. One such target is the negative 2 to negative 2.5 standard deviation, which is significant. Another potential target is the negative 4 standard deviation. Once you have identified potential targets, it's important to look for areas of liquidity that can serve as potential targets. Ideally, you want to look for the negative 2 to negative 2.5 standard deviations as a target, as well as the negative 4th standard deviation. Look for areas where there is a PD array or area of liquidity that interferes with this levels. These arrays help to identify where buyers and sellers are likely to be active, which can be useful for predicting price movements. Let's say we're looking at a bearish chart. This last lower low has entered a point of interest, which could be external liquidity, an order block, or another key level. Once the price reaches your key level, it's crucial to watch for a shift in market structure. In a bearish market, the price forms lower lows and lower highs, indicating downward-ward momentum. To identify key retracement or reversal zones, locate the manipulative price move, which often sweeps liquidity before the market shift structure. This manipulation leg is vital for Fibonacci anchoring. When price sweeps liquidity, especially on higher timeframes, it traps traders on the wrong side of the market. Now, let's connect this with standard deviation. When you see a market structure shift, it's time to bring in the standard deviation aspect. Grab your Fibonacci tool and set it up from the recent low to the swing high. For our setup, we're drawing the fib from the most recent lower low to the lower high that follows it. What I want you to focus on is the negative 2 level. Any liquidity level above this negative 2 mark will serve as your take profit level for the trade. Instead, hold on until a liquidity level is reached, specifically above the negative 2 mark. Remember, the negative 2 is your key level. Any liquidity level above this negative 2 will be your take profit target. To play it safe, you could exit the trade as soon as the negative 2 line is hit, but there should be a liquidity level present there. If there's no liquidity drawn above the negative 2, then you shouldn't take this setup. It's essential to have a liquidity level above the negative 2. If that liquidity has already been mitigated before the price reaches negative 2, then we won't take the trade. By now, you should understand the concepts of external and internal liquidity. Remember, Price primarily does two things, it moves towards external liquidity, which consists of swing highs and lows. Once the price takes out external liquidity, it often draws towards a fair value gap in the discount. If there's no FVG in the discount, it might mitigate and draw towards any other FVG available. Now, let's zoom in and discuss timeframes, as they are very important. If you're a swing trader, you might want to use the weekly and four hour timeframes. 4-day traders, the 1-day and 1-hour timeframes are suitable. If you're a scalper, stick to the 4-hour and 15-minute timeframes. 
So, you want to look for a purge of external liquidity on a higher time frame. Once you identify that, mark out the higher time frame fair value gap, which will serve as your target liquidity. On the daily chart, for example, once external liquidity is taken out, check for a fair value gap in the discount or any FVG available. If you have a fair value gap in the discount, use that for your target. After identifying the external liquidity on the daily chart, drop down to a lower time frame, like the one hour chart. Once you've confirmed the purge on the external liquidity, look at the one hour time frame. Here's what it should look like. After taking out the external liquidity on the daily chart, you'll see the fair value gap marked as your target. Now, wait for a market structure shift on the one hour chart. Once that shift occurs, use your Fibonacci tool from the high to the low. Check the negative 2 level. If there's a low just below this negative 2 level, that will become your target instead of the fair value gap. If there's no lower high and only the fair value gap as your original target, then that will be your take profit level. If you have a higher low just below the negative 2 projection, use that as your target. You would enter a short trade here and aim for that higher low. If the liquidity level or higher low is above the negative 2 level and there's nothing below, then your target will be the internal fair value gap. This strategy is quite straightforward. You establish your bias, wait for confirmation with a market structure shift on the lower time frame, and set your take profit levels. It's almost a set and forget trading strategy. It doesn't get easier than this. In this example we look for external liquidity on the daily time frame, so over here what you can see, we have taken out the external liquidity and where is the equal low and liquidity in the discount. So we are going from daily to the 1 hour time frame. Then find a market structure shift on the 1 hour time frame. After that, use your Fibonacci tool to identifying projection areas above the negative 2 level. Now, look for liquidity below that negative 2 level. This could be a low that serves as your target. We can see internal liquidity, equal lows and FVG below the negative 2 level and we can choose to exit the trade at that point. Here's a valuable tip. You can simply exit your trade at negative 2 if the original draw on liquidity is reached. Okay, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, as it greatly supports the creation of more content like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode.